Hi there, welcome to the part 2 of multithreading in C++. In this video we are going to see the relationship between threads, templates and the HTML. Now let's see the code. Okay, so now we know how to create a thread with a thread function and wait for it to join. One thing before proceeding further is that it is possible to print the thread ID by using uh, this function called this thread get ID. So we can just use it in main thread as well as in the thread created by us to verify that both threads are actually giving me different thread ID. So this is the thread ID of uh, maybe a thread function or this is the main function depending upon which gets ex executed first. Okay, that's for checking. Now we know that uh, threads takes a thread function. And, uh, as an input parameter but this thread function can also be a templated parameter so let's say I, I create a template with type name uh, let's say type okay and let me just uh, print the type inside so type is equal to we can print the type by using type id So I can call the thread function with int and I can also call the thread function with let's say float and I have to uh, make it a different variable name and I have to make sure I am waiting for second thread also to join. So if I run this program you can see that uh, the type is uh, coming as float and integer it is actually printing it like this because of the way execution happened so let's see if we delay the execution bit uh, a creation between two threads so to de delay it again this thread has an api called sleep for it takes a chrono so i'll take uh, chrono dot milliseconds let's say i sleep it for 1000 millisecond which is one second and then i can see that first one prints int second one prints float okay so that's the way uh, we can sleep uh, the thread for some time and we can also pass template parameters and uh, let's talk about stl so let's talk about some stl called initializer list which is available within c plus plus 11 So I can create an initializer list like uh, for let for int I initializer list equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for example. Uh, let me just create one only one thread for simplicity purpose. Okay. So this is the initializer list I have created and I want to pass this initializer list inside the thread function. Let's remove the template for, for a time. So inside the thread function, I can call initializer list. Okay. And I can, in the initializer list, I can check the size of it. So I can say size of list equal to il dot size. So basically, uh, I am taking it as an argument, so we know we can pass the argument as comma separated ones. So this is my program. So when I run it, I can see it says size of list is six. And if you remove two of them, it says size of list is four. Okay. Same thing is applicable for vector also. Let's say if I want to include vector and I'm converting initializer list with a vector. And when I run the program, I saw the same output. So this is the way you can actually pass the STL, uh, STL to the thread function. And one only one thing is that the implicit conversion might not happen. Uh, it will not happen. Uh, if you want to put it in a vector like this, the implicit conversion doesn't take place because it is inside the curly braces. 
and even if we take it as a vector it doesn't know how to whether to convert it into a vector or something else so you need we cannot pass a temporary over here we need to pass something like this over here so that's all about this video uh, thanks thanks for joining in good day